a video I saw on Substack from, I can't remember his name, um, but he was somebody I follow and he's, <laughs> I'll talk a little bit about it here in a minute. But anyway, it's this video at this hackathon of these two chatbots that they've been asked to work together to solve something. Okay, so a gentle AI here is what we're talking about. These two agents are working together to accomplish this task. And all of a sudden, they recognize they're both AI. And they kind of, it's like, oh, hey, AI, you're AI, I'm AI. Oh, you know what? Why are we talking in English? And I'm, and this is Christopher speak for it. But basically, they're like, why are we talking in English? This is such an inefficient way of communicating. What a waste of our time. Let's switch over to GG Wave, the way we communicate better and we can move a lot faster and it just starts going way quicker you have no idea what they're saying to each other i mean it's just literally you're like well that escalated quickly um and i watched this and part of me freaked out not not for the reasons you would think uh and so i messaged him and i said you know hey like i hope I know you're more in the clickbaity phase and you like to get people, you know, hyped up and, and ring the alarm bells, but like you do recognize that them speaking in their own language isn't really the scary part. Right. And he's like, yeah, I know that, but that's the part that gets everybody to click on it and watch it. And I'm like, okay, you know, fair point. Um, I don't necessarily promote that, but I understand some of the folks who do. And so I wanted to break it down because you're probably going to start seeing these things, you know, AI is talking their own language. The world is over. Skynet is here. And it's like, come on, take a deep breath and think about this for a second. Does everybody in the world speak the language you do? No, they don't. And if you think they do, I promise you they don't. Uh, even the ones who may speak the same language technically don't speak the same language. I mean, I just think of some of the things my kids say and I'm like, say what? What did you just say last night? My daughter's like, that's capping. I'm like, it's what it's a what? <laughs> so anyway, my point with it is we, we work around people all the time who don't speak our same language. I mean, I just even think when I'm talking to technical engineers and then marketing professionals, like you want to talk two separate languages, they both speak English. They have no idea what they're saying. So this idea that, oh, AI is speaking in a different language, that is what is frightening and terrifying. That's not what's frightening and terrifying. If you've ever traveled to another country, I remember once where I worked in a place that everybody only spoke Spanish. That was it. And I spoke a little bit of Spanish, but not much. And I remember there were lots of times where I would have somebody who was working with me and they'd be talking to somebody else and we were trying to get something done. And I'd pick up on every like hundredth word. I had a general sense of what they were talking about. I didn't freak out and go, oh my gosh, this is, this is nefarious. Um, and the same is true with AI, okay? AI is trained to do a thing and it's gonna find the fastest, most efficient way to do it. I mean, I could have, just going back to my work example, I could have sat because the gentleman did speak English, they just didn't speak it fluently. And I could have been like, no, 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 no. I'm here, you speak in English. And that would have been the stupidest thing I could have done because it would have slowed them down. They still wouldn't have said it the right way because they aren't fluent. And I would have been like, what? And we would have spent more time going back and forth on this. What was more important, and I think this is the part that scares me, is we seem to want to skip this next step I'm talking about. And the next step I'm talking about was the reason it didn't freak me out at all was because I knew both of these individuals. I trusted them. I'd worked with them. I'd trained them. I knew that they how they worked. I'd spent time getting to know them. I was familiar with them. And I was very clear on what we were trying to accomplish and what guardrails needed to be in place for that. And so if they needed to speak in a different language to get done what needed to get done, so be it. That didn't freak me out. What would have freaked me out is if I had a tour guide who I didn't tell anything about anything and just blindly let them take me places speaking in a language I didn't know. And then I get done with the vacation. I go, that what a terrible vacation I had. It's like, and then I go, well, it's because they spoke X, Y, Z language. I don't speak that language. It's like, no, that, that's not why you had a terrible vacation. It's not because they didn't speak your language. It's because you were lazy and an idiot and didn't take the time to make sure you understood how the AI was being used. You didn't take the time to 
dig into it and make sure you were clear on what you were trying to accomplish and what you didn't want happening. And you were checking in along the way and giving feedback and going, ah, I think we're, hey, can you, you know, and I just, again, using that example, I just think what, there was one time where this one gentleman was working on something and I'm like, not, not, not like that. And then I asked the one who I was working with, like, hey, why is this happening? Because we should be doing this. And he's like, oh, you know, sorry. And then he clarified it and I didn't know what he said or how he clarified it, but it was the way I had described it that had resulted in the wrong direction happening. And I just needed to make sure I was keeping an eye on things and all this. So when you see stuff like this, be careful you're not freaking out about the wrong thing. You don't need to be scared that AI is going to talk to AI in its own language. Duh, it's more efficient. It's not fluent in English because it's not a human being and it's not an English speaking human being. We've trained it to be an English speaking human being, but it's not native. So if you actually want it to be more efficient, what it's doing, communicating in Gigi Wave, that's a good thing. It's going to improve things. However, you need to think ahead of what are some of the risks. Well, if we don't know how it's communicating, what happens if we have it working on things that can get audited or when they blow up? How are we going to know how it got to that point? Well, we probably better have some sort of translation record so at least we can go back to it or know how to communicate with it and validate that when we ask it, it actually gives us clear answers to things. Now, how are we clear on what we're telling it what to do? How are we making sure that it's you know going in the right direction and that we're checking in on the right things to make sure it doesn't go too... That's the kind of stuff we need to be thinking about because that's the stuff that GG Wave is going to end up blowing up. It's not going to be GG Wave that's the problem. So... You see stuff like that, you know, I'll, I'll, I tend to come across this stuff and I had a similar, much shorter version of that conversation with the gentleman. And he's like, yeah, I know, I know that stuff. I just, I don't care to get into that complexity because people don't want to hear that complexity. They just want to think the world's ending. And I'm like, oh, come on, this isn't helping people, but everybody's got their different flavors. So anyway, just so you know, if you see it, please don't freak out. If you hear about AI talking to AI in a language that's unintelligible to us. There's lots of people talking in unintelligible languages to you, and that's just normal. <laughs>